are going to make one decoupage project. I have I have this old tray which I am going to decoupage it. Decoupage is an art where you can upcycle your old products or your or you can uh, do uh, do decoupage on new products. Decoupage can be done with papers, with tissues, or even with fabrics. Here we have a very good uh, paper collection, very good decoupage uh, paper collection from Expression Craft. See, these are the beautiful floral prints. There are eight packs in this, and today. We are going to use this print on this tray. Yes, we are going to we'll take this print and we we'll keep them aside. So first step is to uh, mark the paper size. Here I'm going to mark it. I'm going to cut it. See, it will fit properly in this. I have cut the paper. Let me check whether it will fit inside or not. Yes, it will fit properly. So, first, I'm going to color this tray. I'll keep this paper aside and I'm going to color this tray with the chalk paint. See these are the beautiful chalk paints by MX. These are lovely pastel shades. I'm going with this. This lavender will look good. This I'm here I'm using Perry Wrinkle shade of MX chalk paint the consistency of these colors are very good these are not very thick and not very flowy here the paper will come so there is no need to paint from this side and we are going to paint, paint it from other sides If the paint is coming on corners let it be no problem because it is going to be covered from the paper. See how beautiful the color is coming. Chalk paints are very versatile. You can use uh, chalk paints on glass, on tin, on wood, like on any surface. And these are fast drying colors. It is my old tray and it is already varnished. So the color is not going in inside wood. So I think I have to do a second coat because now it becomes as a non-porous sur surface like tin or glass. But as I can see the color is dried from here. So um, I can see some marks. So let me do a second coat on this. I have to give a drying time between two coats. Let it dry it completely. Now as I can see my color is fully dried. 
so now i can put a second coat on this so now it is giving a proper coverage it is very the color is very smooth and it blends very well without leaving any brush marks now i as i can see the color is fully dried so now it's ready to do decoupage i'm going to put decoupage glue first so i'm putting decoupage glue on everywhere don't leave your corners as corners are very important otherwise the paper will not stick from the corner now as you can see i have put the glue everywhere now my paper is ready to put i place the paper properly from one corner press it gently remove all the air bubbles and there will be no wrinkles in this the quality of these decoupage papers are very good now my paper is stuck properly so i'm going to put top coat on this first i'm going to seal it with decoupage glue apply it from corner to corner don't worry about these white marks it will turn transparent after once it becomes dry it will take hardly 5 to 10 minutes to dry and afterwards we need to uh, put varnish on this but it is looking very plain so here i am planning to do some stenciling on it let me see which stencil should i use so i am going to use this stencil and i am going i am going to give some texture on it so i am going to use texture paste so these are the stencils from expression scarf so i am going to use this stencil this texture paste is white and i'm going to put, um, put some color on it so here i'm going to use a uh, sprinkle mist orange will look good uh, with this so i'm using blaze orange color i'm going to spray this color in my texture paste and i'm going to mix it see how beautiful the color is let me sprinkle some more color if you want you can add your chalk paint on this here i'm adding coral peony Let me set my stencil here.
just get some distressed look from my with my fingers and wipe the extra from corner from here also yes now my project is ready you can see see it from top here are the sides these are the sides my texture is completely dry so now i'm going to put varnish on this Thanks for watching this project.